Hey guys, welcome back to the Gas Pedal Channel, guys. We're here in Montana. It's the end of 2011. But before we get to the shooting, let's compare. Price, Advantage Super Comp. Installation, Battle Comp requires professional installation with the armorer's wrench and has multiple use restrictions. Super Comp goes on with any crescent wrench. There's no ammo or use restrictions. Here's how they come packaged. Super Comp is guaranteed battle tough for life. With Battle Comp, you get a little card that says they don't guarantee anything. Here's the setup we used. Black Hills, full power, 55 grain ammo, and an X-Tech sound meter to measure the decibels. Now, some of you guys have seen some of our videos before. We've tried to show you about our Super Comp brake here. And we claim that it's the best brake in the world, but so do other people. We've showed you balancing a beer without spilling it. We've showed you slow motion. We've showed you a kick and butt in competition. We've shown accuracy shots. We've shown head-to-head -head competition, but some of you aren't, aren't convinced. So today, we're gonna do a little bit of an impulse test, and we'll just see what it looks like. Okay, before we get started here, before with the live fire, I just wanna show you what we're gonna do. We have a brand new case guard table. I recommend that, it's a great table. And we have a brand new uh, black rifle rest. Now, we haven't hold, held this thing down, but I do have a scale here, and I'm not going to move this, but it's just going to take a little bit, and that's just about four and a half pounds it takes to move that. So we're going to test it first with the Super Comp Brake, and then we're going to see what happens with the Battle Comp Brake. Now, we have a 30-round magazine in here, but it's just so you can help judge the recoil. We're only going to put two rounds in. This is a light rifle, so we're not trying to heavy this thing up. We're lighting it up. See how well the brake works. Okay, we got two rounds in the magazine. Let's see how far it moves. I'm just going to give it a light touch. Looked like it moved about a half an inch. And that was 76 decibels over there. Okay, here we are, take two guys with the battle comp brake. Let's put this right, this ammo box, right where the super comp was. And let's see if that ammo box moves. And let's see how far it goes. We've got it lined up. Let's put it on fire. Again. Well, it really moved. Two and a half inches this time. So, guys between two and a half, between two to two and a half times as much recoil with the battle comp as with the super comp. We're just gonna see how far it goes back. We've, let's adjust that ammo box. Oh, we got a little wind. So we'll have to rely on our yardstick because it's a little windy here. Here it is, standard bird cage. That was two and three quarters. And our decibel test was 87, 87 on the decibel test. So I think the conclusion is uh, the battle comp doesn't do much better than the bird cage, maybe a half inch less. Super comp is virtually nothing or less, less than an inch. And uh, believe it or not, super comp's quieter than either one. Go figure. In slow motion, notice not only does the super comp no talon break recoil less, it comes back to zero right away. The battle comp kind of stutters when coming back, making it harder to get fast follow-up shots. Well guys, you've seen that the Super Comp No Talon Brake is about half the price and easily twice the performance of the battle comp brake. Any questions? 